Hello and welcome to Let's Try. We're trying Card Hog. Um, key provided by Dev. Thank you very much, Dev. Appreciate you, bud. Um, this game is really cool. I'm going to talk about what kind of game it is, first of all. Just to set expectations, this is a very simple kind of RPG uh, battler. It's it's almost like a, you could consider it almost like a Sudoku. Um, or um, 2048, if you remember when that was like a flash in the pan flavor of the month for like a solid year. Um, well, let's jump into it. It's, um, so far, I, I've been playing it a little bit in my off time just to familiarize myself with it. I've been, I've been really enjoying it. And that music is still very loud. I turned it very down and it's still loud. There we go. That's better. All right. <clears throat> so you've got a very simplistic grid here. This is our dungeon. Um, you, uh, there, just to, just to set this out right away, there is meta progression in, the, in this game. I don't mind it. It, uh, basically just gives you a little bit of a, uh, a push, an extra push in the beginning. Um, but it's, it, like, the game is so, like, simple and casual that I, I don't think it really matters in this case. <clears throat> People who've been following my, uh, me and my stuff know my opinions on meta progression can get pretty spicy. But, um... Basically, the novelty here is like, you know, very simplistic combat, but the cards move with you, uh, which is cool. And it's how you spawn new cards. So you can actually um, strategize when like enemies are trying to like hit you or not hit you or you can you can move things around, manipulate the board in an interesting way. We've got a weapon right now so we can attack this guy without taking any damage. We obviously don't want to step in that. Um, traps kind of have a turn based. They're, they're on and then they're off kind of thing. We did two. Two damage. We got got ourselves a hammer. Four damage to take out the spider. There we go. Um, weapons have like a limited amount of use before they're done. You see, like we that one had like one damage left. This guy's got three damage on it. Um, and then once it's spent, it's spent. You can um, if you get if you walk into an anvil, you'll like upgrade it. Um, I. I, I try to resist walking into other weapons because you will switch your weapon against your will. And we want to go and get grab another weapon here before we take out this spider. And like the game plays very fast. It's honestly a very, it's a pretty fast paced game. Um, oh, I, I, I messed that up there. We took a lot more damage there than I needed to. And so I'm going to have to heal up a bit. Uh, it's kind of a, um, you know, play at your own pace, uh, and also, like, risk-reward game. Like, I could, uh, at a certain point, you get the end of the level, um, the door, basically, that, that ends the level. You can just, like, call it there, um, or push your luck. So it is kind of like, it's got, it's got, I think they're literally called push your luck, uh, mechanics, but... These moles are a problem. They can actually attack you regardless of if you attack them. So like most enemies, we can get some extra gold with the shovel. Most enemies will not attack you um, unless you, you know, you provoke them. The bat always, um, oh, I, it was worth taking that two damage just to keep my hammer. Most, most enemies don't attack you when you're adjacent to them. You have to take damage. You have, you, you take damage only from attacking them. Um, as long as you have a weapon, though, you can generally get away with attacking them without taking damage. But for instance, here, we got this mole. As soon as we uncover this mole, he's gonna, he's, he's targeting us. But the thing is, the nice thing is, he's not targeting us, he's targeting this square. Meaning, if something else was in this square, they would attack that instead. So if I move down, it's gonna bring this spider with me, and it's gonna put him in that place. And so we can get the mole to do our dirty work for us. Uh, we don't want to go down because that's that will basically we will not move. This is just going to uncover that tile so instead we'll move up. We can do some damage. Uh, poison's great if you can get it for your own weapon because it'll do damage over time. So for instance we can we can hit this guy and then just kind of move out of the way and he'll take a bunch of damage and then eventually die. Um, we're, we're not, we're going to take a little bit of damage here. I, I think it is kind of very difficult not to take some damage. Eventually you have to kind of weigh the, the risks 
involved. Like, we could take one damage here on that spider. It's like, oh, you know, big deal. Two damage here, no big deal. Get that, you know, to, to get a weapon and then get uh, an extra, like, bit of upgrade on it is, is quite good. I didn't expect to actually hit that. I, the bats usually avoid you. They us usually get a good dodge before. So I'm wondering if I can manipulate the situation here to... Yeah. Okay, so we can move there and then move the snake into the way. Now, unfortunately, we do not want to walk into that poison. But we had a, a good out instead. Let's see if we can't get the... Um, no, I was thinking maybe we could get the, the mole to uh, fight this bee for us. Maybe we can, but I don't think it's worth it. We got rats. Only thing about the shovel is if there's an empty spot, you are kind of guaranteed to um, waste the shovel. Took a little bit of damage there. So, you, you know, this is a, it's a pretty satisfying gameplay loop, I will say. Um, I, I, I haven't, I've been enjoying it in my off time, I gotta say. Um, is this a mobile game? That's, you know, a lot of people can say, this looks like a mobile game. Right, it does. And I think that's great. Um, why? Because this game actually is good. And I think there, I, I've said this before, I don't think there are enough, like, decent mobile games. I think a lot of mobile games are like almost just pure, I don't know, nothing content. Um, it might be, maybe that's spicy, but like I, I've been seeing this just like awful trend with mobile games where they don't actually have any gameplay. They're all just like incremental games, idle games, um, you know, waiting simulators basically where you press a button and, uh, you know, wait for three hours so that something can happen and you get some like dopamine hit and it's kind of i like i'm sure there's a lot of people developing decent uh mobile games i'm gonna leave there because that was getting a bit spicy i'm sure there are people developing some like actual decent mobile games maybe it's just that it's difficult to find them maybe the algorithm on mobile is just horrendously bad in which i am like constantly being bombarded by like truly exploitative like you know borderline abusive games with just pure monetization but it's really nice for me to see a game like this where it's like hey this is a game and i'm enjoying it and yeah it's simplistic and it's pretty casual i can kind of turn my brain off um but also maybe don't turn your brain off because if you do apply a little bit of thought then you can definitely do better like there's there's some actual like strategy involved here which i i appreciate also gives me very heavy um desktop dungeon vibes which is an excellent game if you have not played it zombies are a problem uh i really really wanted to poison the zombie because i got a lot of health but i don't think that's going to happen Nice thing about the zombie is you get a, a, a grace round. Okay, we can switch places with them. We need uh, more weapons. Get rid of this trap. I'm wondering if I could manipulate things so that we could get a mole to attack the uh, zombie. Things are, are kind of tricky right now, I gotta say. I'm trying to think, uh, it's almost kind of, it does remind me of slide puzzles. You know, those kind of puzzles where you got to like slide the pieces into place so it makes a picture. It does remind me of that. I don't know how to manipulate this. So I want to, I want to trade places with the mole, um, in such a way so that it is next to me. Um, and then I can trade places with the zombie somehow. I don't know. I don't know, honestly. We could do something like this. I'll take some damage from the poison, but we can heal ourselves immediately. We'll take some more damage from the mole, but that's okay. What is this? Select a mind to take over. Interesting. <clears throat> we could take over this spider mine. That'll, that's six health. And I mean, health basically equates to damage in a way. 
Are we still controlling the the mole? Weird. Back to my body. That was interesting. I haven't seen that one before. There's a lot of um, mechanics in this game that I haven't seen. Um, and it, it, it does like consistently show off some some new cards just about every time I play it. There's also quite a few game modes, which I, <clears throat> I'm very impressed by, honestly. And he's like, I was playing last night a uh, zombie mode where you have to, you know, just kind of like survive a, a zombie apocalypse. It was really difficult. I, I found it quite challenging to, to even like survive um, a few rounds, but I, I was kind of getting the hang of it. Let's use this shovel. Oh, rat, you suck. Ooh, we got a hothead character here. The These guys are, are tough. They, they have a lot of health and they also spawn enemies. Pretty sure those enemies will die though. So what is that jar of hearts? Let's see what that is. Heals some health every turn. Oh, interesting, okay. I could definitely use some extra health right now. Um, would like to get rid of, yeah, that's great. Cause that means we can poison this guy and he's gonna take some time. And that's great. Cause he'll, he'll take poison damage without spawning more enemies. Oh, that was bad. Oh, this is still bad. I think I'm going to die. Because the thing is, th this guy's going to poison me. Do I die from poison, though? Doesn't look like it. Uh, that looks to be the end. I underestimated you. All right. So we got one bean. What are beans? They are used to for your permanent upgrades. This is your meta progression. Um, it's... Fairly non-offensive, but it is, I will say, the kind of meta progression I'm, I'm not keen on in which you basically get permanent, like, damage health increases so the game becomes uh, easier to complete. And I, my, my concern with that is always, could I have beaten this game on my first playthrough? Or um, do I have to die a few times in order to actually succeed? Um, that's always the question, and I never know the answer, and that's why I don't like it. Let's, uh, you know, but besides that, I guess you could do like an endless crawl. Maybe this, uh, no, you still get your progression. Apparently you can also increase the size of the board. That's interesting. I didn't actually see that before. Let's, uh, I'll do a zombie survival to show that off. Um, this one ha incorporates crafting, which is kind of interesting. Oh, I didn't have a weapon there. Oops. But I killed the zombie. Um, this guy will warn me about the zombie and then and then they give me a machete, which is kind of nice. Um, same, same rules apply. It's getting dark. Uh, there's a day-night cycle in this game mode. And um, day-night, uh, the nighttime, the zombies come out in droves. So you gotta be pretty careful about that. Oh. Oh, the nice thing about the shovel, I guess, I didn't realize that, is um, it will dig up the moles without giving them a chance to attack. This is dumb, but I, I'm, I'm pushing my luck here. The more scrap you get, the better, um, because then you can craft... You can do more crafting once once you get out. Let's uh I don't I don't want to get poisoned. Let's let's go to our safe house. So now we can take all of the scrap and stuff we've been getting to um improve things. We could build a well of water. That would mean that every time we go to our safe house, we have uh we can heal a little bit and that would actually be ideal. So let's do that. Next time maybe we can build a weapon. Oh, that was dumb. I'm trying to get a weapon so that I can get that smith use make use of that anvil. The, uh, the the honey I believe gives us passive healing, which is quite nice. It'd be nice if if that happened. If the bee would then start attacking the mole, 
No such luck, though. This guy is tough. He'll try and steal scrap from you. Um, and beating him is not something I've been able to do yet. So I'm actually just going to leave. We'll heal a little bit. And I guess we can build a crowbar. Um, so there's a there's an interesting mechanic that I haven't really been able to make use of yet. Um, which is... And I don't fully understand it. Use arrow keys to move around. Um, is apparently you have a deck, like an unseen deck, kind of, that you're drawing from. And that's where cards are kind of coming from. Like, can I use... I can't use that, right? So I have these weapons that I've crafted, but they need to appear on the screen, as I understand it. So we, we found one of the weapons that we crafted. So by crafting cards, we're basically making our next stage easier on us, which is an interesting way of doing things for sure. Um, obviously you, you want to craft things, but it's interesting to me that you don't get the weapons. You only kind of guarantee that they'll show up. By not crafting them, you're going to guarantee that you, they will never show up, basically. Okay, this is great because then we can move the zombie in the way. We can beat them down even further. By killing the zombie, you get a cool leg. The leg is, is some nice damage. Uh, the, the bat traded places with a mole, which made them... Uh, re revealed them without them getting to attack, which was kind of nice. So we could reveal some more sticks. Obviously, um, revealing cards also gives us more scrap, potentially. Uh, I think we're, we have no, like, choice here but to consider going to our safe room. I do want to push our luck. This is, this is kind of working out for us. Oh, there's a stick. Could we get a poison? Oh, nice. Perfect. Then we can poison the zombie. That did a lot of damage. Give me more stuff. I'm just manipulating these cards down here. This is good. Kill that zombie. Ooh, upgraded scrap. Uh, I don't want to waste that just yet. But I guess I have to. May as well start working on the zombie. Of course, now I'm I'm sort of forced into this this, this situation. So I, I I'll go to our crafting house. We'll make some more stuff. So we can make a upgraded shotgun. More shovels. This would let us get some healing, but we need to kill some mushrooms in order for that to happen. This would give us thirty scrap and two caves. Caves are nice. They're kind of a risk reward. Um. Oh, wait, I don't know. Yeah, shotgun plus two cave. Uh, I'm not sure why we would want more. 20 scrap plus three buzz. I guess we would get more scrap. So if we take this. No, that, that requires scrap. Why would I want that? <laughs> Let's build a blender bus. Oh, we get it here. That's bizarre. Why... Can we move that? Doesn't look like we can move that. I'm wondering why would why we would want that. Maybe we do seem to get a honey card, which is interesting. Okay, so these zombies are um, explosive, and they do damage to us. I'm taking some pretty bad damage right now. Uh, I don't want to waste that blunderbuss yet. Ugh. Oh my god. I'm a lot. I thought I was alive there for a second. Okay, let's try... The, the zombie one is actually really... Like, I, I really enjoy the zombie one. Um, can we possibly make this work? I don't think so. 
Yeah, I took the damage. That was dumb. That was that was very dumb of me. All right. Yeah, there's no way to. I don't think there's any way to manipulate the situation here. Not sure how we would do this. Eh. Oh, there was some scrap there. Oh well. Well, we killed the mole. I, I like to try and manipulate the moles, but it can't always happen. Just kind of have to be comfortable with the fact that you can't always get what you want with the moles. Nice. Ouch. All right, let's leave. We're, we're just about dead, so. Um, we can't make the well yet. That's really unfortunate. Can we make ourselves a crowbar? So does this mean that we're always going to get two crowbars in one stick or we've only just made the one crowbar and once it's done, it's done. Ahaha, <laughs> get the bees to fight each other. Get that honey. I should look for safety. Uh, I don't know. We're doing really well right now. Take one damage. Oh, that was dumb. That was like very stupid of me. That's fine, I got some healing, so it's all good. Get that stick. Oh, we got that, that bounty hunter. Is going to be a problem. These, uh, the, the enemies on these corners are always a problem because there's not really much we can do about it. And I just used up my weapon. So let's, let's leave. Do we have enough to make a well yet? Nope. So it looks like we only have one crowbar. So you don't, they're not renewable. Like you're not crafting a crowbar that gets replenished every round. That would be cool. But... Um, you, you, so you constantly have to feed your deck, uh, and make it, make it better. So we got rabbits now. Rabbits get a free, uh, whiff, basically. You, you, you'll always whiff them once. If we go over here, then that will be bad because we're going to take some damage, guaranteed. This zombie in the middle is actually a huge problem, so I'm going to try and start chipping away at them. Yeah, we were guaranteed to take two damage no matter what. I don't want to waste this um, anvil, but I guess I don't really have a choice if I want to continue, and I guess I do. Nah, we're going we're gonna to leave anyway. Okay. We can finally get the well. And we're continuing to build uh, crowbars. I would like to build something bigger, but I think like you really need to push your luck and get get far in a single stage if you want. Well, I wonder why this guy's got a, a, um, a skull on him. Ah, oh, that was silly. Yeah, you you gotta you gotta get that mad scrap if you want, um, you know, to to make the big upgrades. Oh, that was good. Not really uh, seeing any weapons. Two, I'll take two damage. Ooh, that was some really nice scrap. Damn. I didn't think that. I thought that if I did the anvil, it would let me move into that spot, so that was really unfortunate. I'll do one more zombie run, and then maybe we'll try the, la the, the last game mode. Uh, I was just trying to figure out how I could, like, manipulate this, but it doesn't look like I can. Mmm, there's, there must be a way. No, I, if there's a way, I don't know what it is. Oh, 
I'll figure it out someday. I'll figure out how to how to <laughs> how to manipulate the moles so that you're always guaranteed to get them to hit something. All right, well things go are going well right now. I mean, that was good. Well, just like constantly, uh, oh, yeah, that, that wasn't good. We'll constantly smack that zombie back into their hole. Guarantees you don't have to deal with them. Uh, I don't know why I did that. Because there is no way to get out of that. Okay, let's try the last one, Flame Escape. Wow, big map, okay. Shiny pieces of metal. We have, okay, we have gold and scrap and then this new effect. This is a lot. Uh, looks like, oh, okay, so cards are constantly being destroyed on the left side. So you gotta move. You gotta keep moving. Oh, you can trade places with monsters. That's interesting. I could not avoid that bomb. That bomb had it out for me. I'm gonna take a risk and grab that potion and then trade places with that. This is really cool. This is not what I expected at all. Ooh, what is this new weapon? What? Oh, it, it has, like, knockback? Uh, oof. Okay, I'm gonna take a risk for that health potion. Oh, things are gonna get really dire very quickly. Okay, grab the hammer. And then I'm gonna grab, oh, can I not switch with anything? Or can I just portal over here? Okay, so you can portal anywhere. You don't have to worry about, there There does need to be a monster. I don't wanna deal with that bomb. This is a really cool game mode. It's, it's high stakes. I was not expecting to like this one as much, honestly. Like the zombie apocalypse one is is fun. I like the crafting element. Um but this like constantly having to kind of navigate these obstacles is really cool. Do we have range with this? I didn't know we could look at these like that. Okay, that's interesting. Um, the blunderbuss or like the bomb gun seems to have some bizarre effects that I don't quite understand yet. Can we just kill this bomb? No, we trade places with it. I don't know how I feel about this gun yet. It, it like knocks you back, does some damage, which is nice for sure, but I don't know, I don't know yet. It's interesting. A gun, just like straight up a gun. Uh, I don't want, oh, this is, he's going to do damage to both of these. So I don't, I think I avoided damage there. I wouldn't mind trying to kill this, um, Alien. Yeah, because then we get some cool new thing. So this does damage to two spaces. I, I gotta keep moving. Things are getting dicey. Uh, yeah, this uh, alien does damage to like three spaces. Ouch, I, I thought I had a weapon. Uh, 
Um, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Unless I can do damage to him without taking damage right now. Stunned? Yes, that is the case. Amazing. I'm like, somehow keeping this going. Oh, that was great. Get that scrap. I don't know what the, what are we doing with the scrap? Use this to get upgrades from the blacksmith. When are we encountering the blacksmith? I gotta I gotta ask. Oh, I don't know why I wanted that hammer. It had like no health on it. Oh, oh God. Things are getting really nasty. I don't know if I can... <sighs> okay, I'll take two damage. Perfect. I'm like, I'm like trying to, trying to see the windows of opportunity here. Um, yeah, all right. I want the gun. Actually, the gun's not great. It only has like three damage on it. I guess I'd rather have the katana because then at least it's a lateral lateral upgrade. Grab the hammer after destroying... I don't know why the carrot is like equal to this hammer. That's kind of bizarre. I'm really keeping things together right now. This is... We're almost at a hundred... Flame, I don't know what that means. Ninety-nine, one hundred. Is it just gonna keep going up? Yes, it is. Weird. I wonder what the stopping point is for, for this game mode. Does it just go on forever? Ouch. Okay, things are getting... They're speeding up, I think. Maybe a little bit. Or maybe I'm just, like, getting too close to the edge for comfort. Uh, get out of here, alien man. Oh, wow. Oh, I finally died. Coins, 500. Here lies ashes of a brave and adventurous hog who wasn't fast enough and burned to a crisp. Well, um, I don't know. I don't know if there's like a stopping point in that in that game mode, or if you're just like trying to get as far as possible. I didn't seem to get very much, if anything. But it might be that most of the beans that are are gotten from dungeon loops. But anyway, that's Card Hog. Uh, I think this game is great. I'm probably gonna be playing a bunch of it in my off time. Kind of reminds me of that um, that new game that just came out, but I can't remember the name of it. I already did a, uh, I already covered it, where you're, you know, you're basically a card moving forward, trying to move advance in a strategic way. Uh, there's a few games like this coming out, and I, I've been enjoying them. Not strictly card games. I am it's almost honestly kind of just using the card aesthetic to kind of make the game a bit more approachable. Um, you're not strictly speaking playing cards. I guess you do have a deck, but that's honestly the most like bizarre or o opaque um, aspect of this game. I don't quite understand it, but I, I think it's probably more straightforward than I'm making out. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.